A redesigned special edition features for a special edition Apple Watch 10? Yes! Next year's Apple Watch marks the 10th anniversary of Apple Watch. And just as we got with the 10th anniversary iPhone, iPhone 10, we're getting a special edition Apple Watch 10. And there is so much new information, we're talking like actually reliable information. Let's dig in. Thanks to a recent newsletter from Bloomberg's very own genetically modified marshmallow, Mark Gurman, we've got hot deets right off the press for 2024's Apple Watch. First of all, finally, yeah, we're getting it. A redesign. It has been a minute. The Apple Watch has looked like this for just so, too long, man. One of the biggest reasons that I wear an Apple Watch Ultra and one of the biggest reasons the Ultra was exciting in the first place was because it looks different. Not because it does other ultra things. What, you, th you think I'm going out on hikes? Do I look like a man that goes on hikes? And no, very clever little viewer person, a little red circle on the digital crown doesn't count as different. This is not kind of a redesign. Nice try. Anyway, German believes that an updated Apple Watch design could include things like overall thinner design, as well as a new magnetic system for attaching straps and bracelets. Notice that he said the design will be thinner. He did not say rounder, unfortunately. I wish it was round, but it doesn't say sound like we're gonna get a round Apple Watch kinda ever. I know I might have used it in the thumbnail, but that was just to get you to click. You might be mad, but you're here. More importantly than the design though are features. This thing is going to be awesome. First of all, since we're already talking about the physical aspects of the watch, how about that new magnetic system for attaching straps? Now you might be asking, why are they doing this? Are they just doing this to put the little guy down? Are they trying to make us throw away all of our old Apple Watch bands, the ones we spent so much money on and collected for so many years? They're gonna make us throw all those away and buy new ones? Well, first of all, yes. But second of all, Space. Look with your eyeballs, please. Look at just how much space the cutout for the strap and bracelet attachment takes up currently in available Apple Watch models. I don't know if you're real good like at math, but uh, that's a lot of space. If Apple could move all of the hardware for the strap attachment to the outside of the watch itself, or even just some of it, most of it, that could free up space for things like improved battery, which allows for that thinner design and also some other special fancy tech. Oh yeah, bro. You really think Apple's gonna give us a special edition 10th anniversary Apple Watch and not pack some brand new awesome features in that thing? Obviously not. And I'll tell you about those features after today's sponsor. I'm sorry, I got it. You know, the earbud market is pretty competitive and there's some really not great stuff out there. That's why today's episode is brought to you by Soundcore and their incredible Liberty NC earbuds. The Liberty 4 NC earbuds gives you one of the very best noise canceling experiences ever. That's what the NC stands for. These things have 10 hours of battery life in the earbuds themselves with another 50 hours in their fast charging case. They come in five awesome colors with ear tips to match any ear size and crisp sound from the 11 millimeter drivers sending you high res wireless audio. But here's the best part. You can get these things for under a hundred dollars. Not a joke. So check out the link in the description to grab your pair of the Liberty 4 NC earbuds today. And of course, a huge thanks to Soundcore for sponsoring today's episode of Frapporta. Oh, hey, welcome back. Wow, you didn't leave me like my dad. Great. Back to business. Okay, thanks to Marshmallow Garment, Mark Garment, we know of at least two new health features planned for 2024's Apple Watch 10. At least we hope the name is gonna be that cool. First up, cause I need it, Apple Watch 10 is going to be able to detect and keep records of hypertension. If you aren't a cool doctor man like some of us, hypertension is high blood pressure and it's detected when blood pressure readings for multiple days back to back trend with readings in a certain direction. Really, what I'm saying is you don't need to know how to figure out if you have hypertension or not because your Apple Watch is gonna go off and tell you. It's gonna be like, hey bud, these numbers are a little too high. Maybe you should go to a doctor and stop watching Fox News. Obviously, these type of readings won't be perfectly accurate readings for blood pressure yet, but similar to how it detects heart stuff, it'll be like, hey, we think this is a problem. Maybe go talk to a professional. And even though this show is a joke, 
This is not a joke. Do you know how many times the Apple Watch has saved lives? Like, for real? Countless, countless lives have been saved by the Apple Watch. Because Apple just made a watch that you think, Oh, I just got my notifications on there, see if Paw Paw texted me. But really, it's super accessible. It's a super accessible health device. You think you're getting notifications, and it's reading your heart and blood pressure now. Apparently. In fact, we already did this for you. We already made a video about... Exactly this, about Apple's secret mission to save your life. We made a whole documentary about how the conception of Apple Watch started with Steve Jobs to now. You just thought you were buying a silly old smartwatch and Apple was planning on saving your life this whole time. The link to that video is down in the description. Oh, and speaking of FPT documentaries, <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. January 3rd. That's all I'm going to say. There is another health feature that we should pay attention to that is coming to Apple Watch Series 10, Apple Watch 10, whatever they call it, and that is sleep apnea detection. First of all, yay, that is super cool. That's awesome. But also, how depressing. Per the Germster, Apple is planning for Apple Watch 10 to be able to detect sleep apnea through measurements of breathing patterns while, you guessed it, sleeping. Okay, but for real, again, the show is a joke. This is not. This is kind of huge. Because traditionally, detecting sleep apnea requires like a whole overnight sleep study at specific facilities. You gotta be strapped in and monitored by professionals and everything. It's kind of a huge pain in the ass. So Apple did their thing and made it not that way. Just as Steve Jobs intended. Merry Christmas, Steve. We miss you. Hope you're up there stopping Jesus from using green bubbles again. Forget the redesign, as cool as that is, these features alone, these are just what we know of, right? I'm sure when it launches, there's gonna be more, software is gonna be crazy. For this though, just these two things alone is just one step closer, nay, two steps closer to being a little health robot right on your wrist. You no need for all those monitors and go to the ER, be strapped to all these machines that only doctors can read. No, you can read it on your wrist. And like in the weirdest of ways, I'm excited for these new features, but also kind of freaked out. I mean, really think about it. This is crazy. We live in the future now. This is something that you would see in the Jetsons or like Back to the Future. Except instead of flying cars and time machines, we just got a machine on our wrist that tells us how much time we got left. Listen, man, I, I am 30, all right? I am 30 years old now. I kind of don't want to know how broken I am. <laughs> just, I just want to be surprised one day, all right? I don't need notification. Just surprise me, life. Just... <laughs>